Thanks, Coach. I'll open up a comment. We'll get you a mic for questions. All right, guys. How's everybody today? Good, Coach. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, obviously today uh, was a different ball game for all of us. First day of school. Uh, it's really why the players, you know, come here is to get an education. So, um, you know, we, I, I know many of them were excited about getting back in class and going to school. Uh, our focus for this week is to improve. Uh, you know, how much you improve between the first scrimmage and the second scrimmage goes a long ways into saying um, who and what your role on this team is going to be. Um, because we'll have to make some decisions about who we're going to coach and who we're going to get ready to play. Um, we tried to, you know, expose our players to as many things as we can this week in terms of game situations. Uh, and I think the sims, the scrimmage will be more game-like in terms of, you know, the types of things that, that we, we try to do. Um, you know, look, guys, I know you're asking about the quarterbacks, but the quarterback decision is going to get made by what the players do on the field. You know, who performs the best, uh, who does the best job of uh, leading the team, making good choices and decisions, taking care of the ball. Um, that, that's how it's going to get decided. And, you know, we're, we're sort of monitoring that every day. You know, Jake's toe deal went very well. Uh, we don't expect him to be out more than, you know, it's day to day, but maybe another day uh, or two. And uh, some other players that, you know, got back to practice in the day, you know, uh, some of the injured guys that were here for rehab during camp, um, you know, they have Kenyon Drake is recovering and uh, did a nice job in practice today in a black jersey. You know, Cam Robinson was in a black jersey uh, only because he, you know, sprained his shoulder a little bit or something. Uh, I'm not going to make an explanation for every guy that wears a black jersey. Uh, it's the way we practice guys that we don't want to have a lot of contact, so every player knows that he doesn't have contact. And there's not going to be an explanation for that. Uh, Parker Barino uh, cut his toe uh, in a incident in the shower or the bathroom some kind of way, hit it on a door, the door fell on it or closed on it or something, uh, and actually required surgery to sew it back up. And I, I don't this is something that will probably take, you know, at least a week or so for him to recover from. Uh, Chris Black is practicing in the back of Black Jersey. Uh, you know, this is the time, uh, this is the shortest camp that we've had, uh, only being two weeks long. You know, we're playing later. School started earlier. Uh, so, you know, most of the time it lasts about three weeks. So uh, I felt like we had a good camp. Uh, but I think the players really have to do a good job of transitioning into how we need to practice when they go to school. Uh, they don't spend all their time here. They're not in meetings a lot. Uh, when they come here, they really got to recenter and refocus so we can go and get the work done that we need to get done. Uh, I felt like there were too many self-imposed limitations, you know, out there today in practice, and I don't think it was one of our better practices, even though up to this point I've been very pleased with the way, you know, the work has been going and the players have uh, been improving, so you know, we got lots of work to do. We'll start back here with Matt. And Nate, two things. First of all, with our Darius, you talked last week just about him being maybe the most consistent guy that you guys had at wide receiver. Where, where have you seen him improve since last year, and has he, has he maintained that consistency since you saw him? Well, I think last year, you know, he really improved toward the end of the season, and we actually were playing him in some games, and you know, he got an MCL, which really kind of knocked him out of the rest of the season. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we really felt like last year he sort of came into his own toward the end of the season uh, and had some bad luck with some injuries. So, you know, to see him come back, I think he just shows more maturity. You know, now uh, I think he's got more confidence in what he's doing. Uh, he's playing faster and making more plays. I still think that, you know, Receivers has to learn the importance of precision, you know, so that they can work well with the quarterback. And the quarterback can depend on what they're going to do. And I think our Darius has, you know, made great strides in that area. And as far as Cam Sims with him out there today, just how is he doing in his rehab? Well, he's, he's got a ways to go, so he's doing fine in his rehab. He's ahead of his rehab. Uh, he's not going to be playing, you know, probably anytime.
time soon. We'll kind of see how it goes, and um, you know, but it, it's way too early to make any kind of call about that. Right here, Mark. <clears throat> uh, sticking with the wide receivers, I just want to see how uh, Richard Blaney's doing and how is he progressing. Was he bring to the offense and to the team? Richard Blaney, new yeah, receiver. He, he's, he's been doing a really good job. Um, He's got great hands, very smart player, uh, very instinctive, knows how to get open, uh, and you know, especially effective in the slot. Uh, so he's definitely going to help us this year. Um, and his maturity and experience is something that, to a very young and experienced group, has been you know, very welcome you know, by us and uh, I think our other players. Right here, Michael. We were talking to Kirby Smart a few weeks ago. We talked about the run pass option being something that's been difficult for the defense. Uh, it's seen much more of that in the last few years as opposed to maybe four or five years ago. How has that dynamic changed just that defending that possibility of a run pass option? Well, they changed the rule, I think, three years ago um, to where a guy can go three yards down the field instead of what it's been since the beginning of time, a yard and a half. And, you know, each year more and more teams have, you know, started to take advantage of the rule where linemen go downfield and block people so it looks you know more like a run uh, and there's really nothing really that a defensive player can key on to know whether it's a run or a pass uh, so I just think more and more people are taking advantage of that rule uh, I know that we did it some last year and it was effective for us um, it's a huge advantage for the offense right here there how's the offensive line coming on in pass protection particularly to the right side with, with Bradley and, and Dominic uh, you know, they're doing really well. Uh, Shank has had a really good camp. I wouldn't count him out as uh, a guy that could end up being a starter at one of the guards. We feel like we have three really good guards. Uh, you know, Bradley is a, uh, a really good backup center, too. So, um, you know, we kind of got, you know, four, what we think, really good guys that we feel like are starters. But, you know, Dominic Jackson has had a really good camp. Uh, he just got to learn how to play with consistency and be dis disciplined all the time in what he's doing and not lose his focus. Uh, when he does that, he's a very effective player. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm pleased with the progress that we're making. We've, you know, been a little more physical up front, and uh, I think that's something we need to keep working on. But pass protection is always, you know, something that takes a little more time, a little more work uh, for the guys to, you know, work out, especially against pressures. And I think that's something that we need to continue to work on. Right over here, two more. John and Alex. Nick, I know that multiple of your quarterbacks work with these private kind of tutors during off-season periods and things like that. Do you ever get involved in kind of the process of who these guys end up working with? Um, is there concern about who they work with? And is there, um, I mean, is there, what's the kind of benefit of them being able to work with these private tutors when they can't have contact with you? Well, I, I, I personally think that, you know, a lot of guys have, you know, their own guys that they grew up with that call them tutors, call them coaches, call them personal coaches. Um, and that has helped them be successful. That really kind of knows their game and knows, you know, what works for them. And, um, you know, most of these guys that do this that I know that we've had players work with are, you know, very good at what they do. Uh, and I think it's been helpful, you know, to the players. And I know it helped Lake Sims improve. Um, and I know several of our guys right now have improved uh, because of things that they've worked on. Uh, maybe things that we recognize that they take back and figure out ways to work on, you know, with someone. So I think it's a good thing that they do it. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, we don't try to communicate with them at all. Uh, but it, it, I feel that if we had an issue with them or with the player and we felt they could benefit that circumstance by being involved, we certainly would get involved. But I trust our players, you know, I trust our players. They, they just, they're just trying to get better um, and they're trying to improve, you know, their chances of being successful college players uh, and developing a career of their own. And uh, I personally think there's absolutely nothing wrong with you know what these guys do it's it's very beneficial last one right here i think you said you wanted to kind of start dealing reps towards a few uh quarterbacks going forward after watching film have you done that 
yet, what's the kind of plan for the scrimmage? Well, you know, Jake's been out this week, so uh, we thought the, the two guys that, you know, probably played a little better in the scrimmage. Um, and, you know, Alex did a nice job, and you know, Cooper Bateman did a nice job in the scrimmage. Uh, you know, Jake did okay, uh, but he hasn't been able to practice all week. So, um, and, you know, we feel Blake is a young guy that we need to continue to try to develop. So uh, those four guys, you know, kind of are – Three of them have been in the mix this week in terms of how we've, you know, uh, tried to split up the reps, and uh, we'll continue to evaluate it on a day-to-day -day basis and see where it takes us. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. <clears throat>